Hello everyone, thanks for joining Shiny 3D AutoScan Inspect webinar. Today's webinar is hosted by me and Nick Lee. Nick Lee is a senior application engineer in 3D scanner, reverse engineering, and inspection software. My name is Bruce Strong, account manager for Industrial Product Line. Today's webinar, we will introduce our latest methodology 3D scanner, AutoScan Inspect, and its key advantages. By the way, AutoScan Inspect is ready to sell. Please contact us immediately if you want to buy the demo units. First of all, let's we watch one video to have an outline of it. Next, we introduce its uh, key features and advantages. Audio scan is designed to scan small size parts. Scanning area is 100 plus 100 plus 75 millimeter. If we're talking about, if we're talking diagonal size, it will be 140 millimeter, bigger than 120 millimeter. Audio scan inspect adopts USB 3.0. USB 3.0 make the data transfer very fast and stable compared with the USB 2.0. Maturity grade accuracy. It adopts feature alignment. The accuracy is within 10 microns. Here is a testing according to the VDE VDI 2634. First scan the ball bar certificated by third lab and measure to severe center distance. And then compare with the nominal to get a deviation value. This testing showed that autoscan inspection accuracy is quite good, less than seven microns. And each autoscan inspect comes with one accuracy certification. It adopts structured blue light Compared with the white light, it's less sensitive to a light environment. It's less sensitive to light environment. And the struct light is good to capture small features. On the other hand, fixed model scanner is better to scan and capture small and rich features parts than handheld scanner. With 5 megapixel camera and lens, 
auto scan resolution reaches 0 0.04 to 0 0.05 mm, which can capture small and fine rich feature parts like a gear, in pillar, coin, etc. Here is scanning data photos, and this too is the RMB coin, and this one is the small size, complicated shape, plastic part. Third X rotary table. Other competitor scanner rotary table is 2X. Need to add or reduce the rise block to adjust scanning Z or height. Auto scan inspect does not need those rise blocks. By clicking the button, Shirt X makes the inspect easily to adjust scanning Z or height to achieve the short or long path scanned. Let's we watch the video to have a vivid look of the third X. There is a mirror in scanning height. When the mirror moves, the scanning area moving accordingly. Add-on scan. Auto scan have several scanning path settings. After scanning, there are some area data not captured. Add-on scan is designed to capture missing area data. Check the video to look how it works. Like this small and complicated shape plus parts, after scanning, it will have some area not captured. We can rotate, find it, and just click add-on scan. The scanner will scan it automatically. And during scanning, we may need uh, several add-on scan and just repeat the process. To find the angle and click add-on scan. Lightweight. The total weight of auto scan inspect is 7.5 kg. Other competitor models are 12 kg. It will save shipping cost more easily to carry it to our customer side to do demo. We can move it easily by holding the frame of the scanner. Big operator space. Operator have large space to install or take off parts. You need not worry about your big hands. User friendly. No requirements on operators and spot one click scanning. Some of you may have the experience. One engineer becomes expert of the scanner, but he left your company, and you need to train a new engineer. That takes a long time. For the auto scan inspect, most operators can learn how to use it within a few hours. Look at this simple and clean interface. Modular design, easy maintenance. Main part of the scanner like a scanning head, turntable, circuit are dismountable. If this part broken, just ship this part back to us. We will ship and we will ship back after repair. Multifunctional fixtures. Auto scan inspect comes with three fixtures. First, general piece fixtures. It has removable screws. Part first place on it and then fix with a screw. Thin wall fixture. Thin wall parts can be loaded in the middle of the fixture and then fixed by the screw. Hole fixture to fix parts. To fix parts have the hole. Now we will show you how to use all the scan to easily achieve uh, this complicated uh, impedance with the data by single, uh, by one click scan. Like this complicated impeller, it has a narrow space and it's difficult to get this uh, full through the data by handheld scanner or other tripod, uh, uh, fixed tripod through the scanner. But today, with auto scan inspect, it's very easy to get this through the data. To scan this, uh, uh, to scan this impeller, we use this uh, whole fixture. 
we first put the impeller on the fixture and then we put it uh, on the tin table Next, we will do the spinning. We first create a new project and give it the name you want, like in pillar. And uh, to choose the same path and spinning model, here we choose a single model. Before we scan it, we have three steps to modify. First, we make the paths in the middle of the scanning window. We can easily achieve it by moving this uh, button. Okay, and then we adjust the brightness. So you can use the, this button to make it bright or dark. A simple uh, method you can use is that to check the the surface and uh, have the slight red is okay like this one okay and then we choose active the height adjustment we can move this cutting line we can move this cutting line up and down the cutting line means that below that uh, line the data will not will be cut it. Okay, and then we can connect scan to scan it. To scan it is a narrow space and deep gap in Peter. We designed a spatial uh, scanning path for it. So it's a scan around 20 scans. Okay, we get the now we get the data. So we lure, lure down the, the cutting plane. And uh, check the data. Okay, the data is uh, quite uh, complete, quite complete and uh, high high detail. So next step, we do the data wrap to get STL file. So here you have uh, two uh, two options. And here, if we choose uh, to lower uh, percentage, then the the data process will be quicker. But all, but also we are doing some scanning details. But for this impeller, we can choose like 50 percent. The second one is the data wrap method. Normally we choose uh, on what type. And then we can click OK. So the software will do the alignment and map and mesh to get the final STL data. Okay, we can now get uh, STL data. It's quite uh, it's quite uh, quite good, smooth and complete. To show you the how to scan this complicated uh, small. Uh, plastic parts with auto scan inspect. Like this small parts, we have a, a small and high rich uh, features on the surface, and not e not easy to scan by other metrology scanners. Or you need to have some special jigs. So, but it's uh, very easy to use auto scan to scan it. First, we put it on uh, the parts on with the. Uh, root tag and then uh, put it on the tin table so we first start with a new project and give it a name 
and uh, you can choose the uh, the uh, seven paths, or you can use uh, its uh, original one. And this one we choose single model. Okay, we click OK. Here we first adjust uh, the this uh, area and make the path in the middle of the window. And second, we adjust the the brightness uh, to make the path. Uh, uh, clear and they have uh, enough light on it and then we can act, use uh, active heat adjustment so we can adjust from here this nine, that nine means that uh, the data below this nine will not uh, be captured or will be cut it so after then we can click scan so the scanner will start to scan It come out. Uh, the data comes out very quickly and looks good. Okay. So after the we get the data. We can use add-on scan to uh, to fill the data, missing data. So we can choose the angle and then. Make add on scan. Okay. One more. So, if you maybe check other areas. Here we use a flip scan. It means that before we click the flip scan, we need to turn uh, over the parts first, like this. And then uh, put the, the parts on the turn table. And then we can use, uh, we can use uh, flip scan to scan again. Okay, so the uh, backside uh, scanning is also uh, finished. That's all. But this one is good. We, do, we need not uh, to cut any other data. So next step, we do the alignment. Okay, the alignment preview is okay. So, so we can click, we can click uh, okay, and then we go to the next step, data data process. Okay, we finally get the data. That's the presentation. We move the Q&A section.